you're a good debater and you're not afraid of a fight. So why have your comments off? Just out of curiosity. Well, I've turned them on for a lot of things. I mean, your shorts you do. Right. In some of my lives, I think they're on. But almost as soon as I turn them on, there's photos of oh, my nice. family's homes. Okay. What's the address? Yeah. And at what point? And that, and yeah. I just want to clarify. Yeah, please. I don't have to take that abuse. Agreed. Like I don't come to work and slap the dick out of their mouth. Yeah. Like, yeah. Kind of why do you have a disdain for informants in your opinion? I don't disdain them. I downright fucking hate them. Okay. That's okay. But see, this is why I can say it. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. That guy jumps yeah. crazy. He's yeah. on medication. Mm. I have a disdain for them because no man should ever go to prison on the words of another man. Number yeah. one. Number two, in 90% of the cases you look at, the informant has done more vile and disturbing crap than those that are being accused. Uh, number three, I find it oxymoronic when a, uh, a man, Joey Merlino, because yeah. everybody knows who he is, yeah. he goes in front of a judge, they can bring up everything he's ever been accused of, including murders and whatever else. Even though he's acquitted, it yeah. doesn't really matter because it's a character judgment. But yet, in that same case, you can't turn that around and say, well, let's judge the rat. Judges don't allow that. Mm. So for me, it's like you're walking in, you're already behind the, the, the eight And ball. now, it's time for Mob Talk Radio with your host, Jeff Canarsi. Hey, everybody, and welcome to a public service announcement uh, on behalf of myself, uh, Mob Talk Radio. Uh, and the only reason why I'm I'm really doing this today is I've been getting a lot of uh, emails in the last couple of days since our last live, wondering why I stopped the live immediately. Uh, what was I referring to when when something was said? So here's the deal. First of all, anytime you do a live, uh, you can't stop people from coming on and showing their pricks, and you cannot stop absolute lunatics from taking photos, making Instagram pages, and saying perverted and disgusting shit. Uh, so on the show, uh, I had a couple of people come on, and uh, a female did come on, and she showed her baby, and, and it was very innocent, very innocent. The problem is is that YouTube is a circus. It's a sickness. And there are people who will take a screenshot and do the most absurd, filthy, disgusting, and repulsive shit known to man. So I had no choice but to take it down immediately and delete it. Because I'm sure, as I sit here right now, a whole bunch of you took a picture of that. I'm sure you did. Because that's just par for the course on YouTube. And as a host of a YouTube podcast, live stream, blog, vlog, whatever the fuck you want to call it, I have a duty to protect people. Uh, listen, accidents happen. Sometimes people in the, the heat of the moment or, or just a, hey, here's my baby, blah, blah, blah. To all of us, it's like, oh, she's cute and everything else. But there's like 100 other people who are demented enough to take screenshots and do filthy shit. And I'm not going to allow that. And that's why we canceled the live. Now, people say, why didn't you come back on? Because at that point, the, the live is kind of fucked. And I, at that point, my brain got scattered. And I just was like, I don't want to deal with this. Now, the other thing I'm getting a lot of emails about is something that was said prior to that happening. Uh, a joke about some X-rated shit. Okay. First of all, nothing X-rated ever happened anywhere. That was something that a person who I thought was my friend, who's a big mouth, uh, thought it would be funny to say to somebody who he doesn't even really know. Uh, and so when the question got posed to me, it caught me completely off guard. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, that, that's the last fucking thing I knew anything about. Uh, and it pissed me the fuck off. Now, 
from where I come from, okay, just so everybody understands, I can take a joke. I can take a joke. I think it's funny. But when you let somebody in your fucking home and you've been good to them, you've been friends to them, and you've been friends for over a year or whatever, and you've hung out publicly and all of this, and somebody thinks that that's funny to joke about, I don't. I don't think that's funny. And it tells me you have a big mouth, and that I do not like. It's different if I didn't know this person and we didn't, we only knew each other on here. That would be one thing. But when I let you into my home, uh, I invite you to places I should have never invited you to. And that's how I'm repaid. That's a problem. Now, I let everything go. I'm the kind of guy I get mad for a couple hours. I let shit go. However, the next day, I find out that this person is friends with informants. Uh, and that's unacceptable to me. Now, for content creators who platform them, you're in your right to do that. Okay? For anybody who fr who's friendly with them, nothing wrong. That's your choice. However, I have made it known on this show, and everybody knows my past, so don't start the hypocrite bullshit with me. Uh, I, made a, so I, I made a choice years ago. Years. Almost a, a what? eight, nine, 10 years, whatever, uh, years ago, actually six, seven years ago that I would never, ever fucking do that. And to those that do all the more power to you. Okay. So I'm not having that debate. However, when I allow somebody to get close to me to become my friend, close friend at that, I allow you in my home. I introduce you to fucking people. I treat you as a part of the group. And I trust you. And then I find out that you have on your Facebook, your friends with three rats, one of which said awful, despicable shit about me. Mainly that my mother molested me, chained me in a basement. We all know the story. So if you call yourself a friend of mine, why would you even have that human being on your friends list? But yet you come on my show, on my panel, and talk shit about informants. That is the truest fucking form of hypocrisy I have ever seen in my life. And I apologize to each and every single one of you that watches my show. Because if I had any idea that that was the case, believe me, I would have never been friends with this person in my life. Now. There will be some that will say, well, maybe this person just follows them and is interested. They're informants. You came on my show and took a stance. If you, if you want to be friends with informants, don't come on here and have a stance. Don't come out and say, I hate XXXYZ. I hate this one. I hate this one. And then fucking on the sly, have them as your friends on Facebook. Especially one that said awful shit about me. You're supposed to be my friend. That I have a serious problem with. Because not only does it call my credibility into question. Because that's exactly what it does. And that's why I'm saying it now. Before somebody else says. Oh hey you know what I heard. The minute I found out. I was done. D-O-N-E fucking done. I pride myself on sticking by what I say. I pride myself on not putting them on my platform, and that's okay. But I'm not going to allow somebody to come on my panel and talk all of that shit, then come to find out, oh, they're friends with them. That's the betrayal. And that's what I don't understand. Normally, I keep whatever little issues in-house, but this person then decided to message like 25 different people. And that just shows you the mentality of people. This is why you cannot trust people because they do shit like this. And I don't care what anybody says, a joke I can take, but I pride myself on how I treat people for the most part in my real life. Not this fucking circus life that everybody kind of watches from their house. You don't joke about stuff like that. Because if you understand the way YouTube works and you understand people are looking to hear whatever they can and manipulate whatever they hear and you say something to somebody and somebody doesn't know you're joking, 
and they say it just joking with you, people can take that, use that against you and make it worse for you. That's the stupidity in opening your fucking mouth. But I was willing to walk past that. I was willing to walk past that and just, eh, it is what it is. No big deal. It's not true. No big thing. But then I find out your friends with informants. And that's a no-go for me. Especially considering I sued one of them. He said awful, despicable shit about me and a million other people, and you got him on your friends list. That makes you a low life, in my opinion. A low life. And it makes everything that you, you, you know, you said coming on my show bullshit. Because how does that make you look when you come on here talking about Michael Francis, Sammy the Bull Gravano, uh, whoever else, but then on the back end of them, you got half of them on your fucking friends lists. Like, I don't understand that. And like I always say, not everybody has to have that fucking stance. Not everybody has to give a fuck. But that would be like me saying all of this shit for 10 years and behind the scenes, I'm powing out with Sammy Gravano and not telling nobody. You know how asinine that is? So all that being said, this person will never be on my show again. I will never utter another fucking word to them. Some of you will know who it is. And if you want to go and hang out with them, that's your business. But that motherfucker will never come an inch in front of me ever again. Ever again. And that's just how I see it. There's no reasonable excuse a motherfucker can give me for that. And that's all there is to that. Now, tomorrow night, we're supposed to do a live at 845. Uh, if we do it, because I'm, um, I'm sort of on the fence whether I'm going to do it. If we do it, uh, please don't bring this up. I'm not going to discuss it. I'm handling it. Uh, it, could I have handled it back door? Absolutely. But I, I can't at this point because I'm getting too many messages, too many fucking gossip, fucking jerk offs are running around saying all kinds of shit. So number one, most importantly, I have to take down a live where there's a child shown. That's what men do. We do not allow that kind of shit. Even my haters will say that was the right thing to do. Okay. But because I was agitated by a comment that got made. People are assuming it's something else. So I just wanted to, to, to sort of set the record straight. Uh, and that's all there is to it. So if we do the live tomorrow night, we will see everybody at 845 right here on YouTube. If we don't, uh, I want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. The podcast will be off until the 29th. Uh, if I don't get back to, to people that text me over Christmas, I apologize, but I just kind of keep to myself. Uh, so all that being said, if we're back tomorrow night, we'll see us there. If not, have a very Merry Christmas. Even you too, Pops. You old grouchy fuck. <laughs> Merry Christmas to Pops in Texas. All right, everybody, have a good one.